Hey guys, my lighting is a little different, um, in hopes that you guys can see these colors a little better. I feel like it was a little too bright. I am, you know, using my webcam. Anyways, I feel like I, like, I really like my eyeshadow. I just threw this kind of look together with my eyes, at least. Um, I was wearing Urban Decay all day, but I bought a new eyeshadow palette, and I am totally in love with it. Um, I know this look isn't perfect, but... Personally, pretty sure I like it. Anyways, so today it looks way better on <laughs> in the mirror than it does like in the in the camera. All right, so I have a collective haul today. Today I went shopping with one of my best friends, and her name is Brandy, and we went to um. Sephora, Marshalls, and Target in that order, but I'm doing it the exact opposite order this haul. So, let me go ahead and get started. So, let me start with Target. First thing is I bought nail polish remover, which I already used to show you swatches of nail polish that I bought. But, um, I bought nail polish remover for a dollar and two cents at Target. Not bad price. Works pretty, you know, like a nail polish remover. I don't like nail polish remover, by the way. Like, I hate the smell. I hate how it feels on my hands. I hate everything about nail polish remover. But it removes nail polish, so it's a necessity. The next thing is the Rimmel. And I've been calling this Revlon, and I apologize. Like, it's not Revlon. Come on, Jessica. It is not Revlon. It is Rimmel. This Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick. And this is my favorite lipstick ever. I think I've mentioned that, even though I've called this Revlon. Um, let me go ahead and swatch it for you. It's what's on my lips right now. It's a pretty dark pink, and it is called uh, Crystal Mauve. So, this is Crystal Mauve, and I love it. It kind of looks darker than... You know, it really is. Well, actually, it's pretty dead on. Never mind. Ignore me. I'm talking nonsense. But yeah, so the brand with the crown is Rimmel. And I am so sorry. I've, like, been messing that up and nobody's told me. So maybe you guys just didn't notice. By the way, this was, like, $5.30 something cents. Something like that. Very cheap. Love it. My favorite. Totally worth it. Okay, the next thing is the lip stain. And underneath that, you can see lip stain. But let me go ahead and show you fresh... Just watch. By the way, this smells so good, and it feels really good on the lips, too. But, um, it's just a bright pink color. This one is called Schmitten Apress. Apress, or something like that. And these are the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stains in the, um, Balm Stain. Sorry, Balm Stain. I also have the Marker Stain from them, the Just Bitten lip stain and then there's a bomb on the other side which totally broke totally a waste of money I think it cost me it cost me like eleven dollars at freaking Kmart and I was so disappointed with this product like super disappointed you can see like it's on my hand right there it comes off totally unevening unevenly it doesn't stay on it shows all your lip lines and uh, I hate this product but this one is definitely worth purchasing. It, this one cost me, it was on sale, so it was like $7.32 at Target. Um, by the way, this is retractable, which I love. So, and on my hand it looks like that. Sorry. I keep forgetting. I keep missing all these steps. Okay, so anyway, so that's the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Smitten Press. Or whatever. Alright, next is the Sunny bronzing powder which everybody talks about and honestly I thought it's gonna be darker than it was because of the way it looked um like I don't know I don't know I just thought it was gonna be darker maybe because of the color of the packaging very nice mirror um yeah anyways looks like this looks like this it has a little sun and let me just go ahead and show you it's very muted bronzer but you know for my light skin it's exactly what I need so there we go um and I've heard lots of reviews about this um 
and like reviews from all different kinds of skin tones so really this works for pretty much everybody um awesome product like it was only three dollars but you know we'll see i'll test it out <laughs> probably like it more than my elf bronzer though next two things i have two baby lips from maybelline and my whole compare contrast video i might actually film it tonight um today because like i really want to do it and i have enough you know notes to kind of tell you compare contrast so let me just go ahead and swatch these anyways you get a lot of product for your money i feel um these were three dollars and four cents or something like super cheap and let me just swatch them somewhere i like all these swatches on my hand is ridiculous so I'm building these chis up so you can see what it looks like built up. And then I'm putting a little swatch on the side for it not to be built up. Honestly, these have decent pigmentation, especially for the price. And they are the most moisturizing thing in the world. The bottom one. So there's what it looks like built up. And then, um, sorry. And then just one, I know it's really hard to see. Maybe I just. Ugh, I did it in a horrible spot, guys. So I'm sorry. And then the top one is the grapevine. And then, you know, up above is the heavy swatch. And then down below, the little teeny one is the light one. So, obviously, super pigmentation. You can build these up pretty well, I feel. And a great product. I totally recommend you guys getting these. These are going to be, like, probably in my October favorites. Anyways... <laughs> Moving on, so next I will show you the e.l.f. Um, nail polishes I have. They look like this. They are really cute and little. And the brush is really teeny, which people seem to like hate, but honestly I love the brush. It's just super little. So cute. And I feel like it has, like... Because of how I paint my nails, like I hold the bottle and I paint my nails, I've always done it that way. Um, so because of how I paint them probably is why I like the application so much. Um, but I could see how people could lose control of it pretty easily. So anyways, it looks like that. It reminds me of their gel eyeliner in Gunmetal. And then in the next one looks like a really pretty purple in the bottle on the finger. It looks... Very similar to my or Orel Orlay Orly Orly some some brand with the O R L Y. Um, it looks very similar to that color that I used for the fall. So, but I'll definitely get use out of these. The only downside is they do take a while to dry, and I just I like something that's snappy and quick to dry. But honestly, like these were one dollar and seventy cents each. They were on clearance, so it was just like. Shh. I'm gonna buy some of these and like show my my peeps them. All right, next is the wall, the wet gloss and lash and brow gel. This is the eyebrow side. And you just kind of go like this, not that way. You go like that way. Sorry, I'm like trying to do it using my camera. Not very good. <laughs> Anyways, and you put it on your brow and it just kind of sets like. If you're, like, it sets, like, if you're wearing, like, pencil liner, it'll set that, and it will kind of set the shape. And then an eyelash one, which, I don't know what this does, but, let's go ahead and apply it for y'all. And then I'll tell you, like, if there's a difference. <laughs> I don't know. It looks weird, like, in my proofs, but, yeah. So, that's the gel, and this was a dollar. And it's, you know, two products in one. Awesome. And that's by e.l.f. I love e.l.f. Alright, and then, hmm, I think that's it for Target. So, bye-bye, Target. Alright, next is Marshalls, and I bought five Essie nail polishes. And I'll just go ahead, and the first one I'm going to show you is called The Bush, and it is a 
very pale um, green color. It's really pretty. I, I actually really like this color. It's like a taupe kind of green color. Super gorgeous. And it's true, the color is true on the camera. Then the next one I'll show you is the, the super pale pink that I don't like and I wish I wouldn't have bought it. But it's a pink adalic, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I thought this would be like a really pretty pale pink on the nails. But um, it's just totally sheer. I'll probably wear this over a darker pink and maybe it'll work for me, but... I don't know. And then next is this gorgeous, uh, is that next? No, sorry, that's not next. Next is this gorgeous pink color. <laughs> and I do love this color. I'm probably going to wear it next week because I'm wearing a different color this week. But I'm probably going to wear this color next week. And by the way, all of these brushes look like this. What I like about Essie, especially because they're originally so expensive, is that, um, uh, it takes such little product to apply. The only thing is this applicator, or maybe it's the formula, like, you get so much product, you have to, like, wipe, you have to have time to paint your nails because it'll just keep going down the stick onto the brush and then you'll just get too much, so you have to, like, keep an eye out on that. I don't know if that made sense, but I'm trying. Anyways, the swatch of that color <laughs> looks like this, and that color is called... Your hut or mine, which sounds kind of interesting. I want to know the rest of that story. Or maybe I don't, but possibly. The next one is this very iridescent, pretty, gorgeous color called Main Squeeze. I think this color is gorgeous. If you can't see, there's like a purple kind of shine to it. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't think it's picking it up, but there's like a purple pink shine to it super gorgeous and on my nail it looks like this and it depending on how you move your nail if you move it like this your nail looks normal but if you kind of like yeah move it elseways it has that pink purple kind of shine to it um honestly you could wear this on their own by the way each of these swatches is two coats um but i if you wear this on its own i'd probably do three or four coats because then you'll really get that color otherwise i'll probably put it over another nail polish okay and then the very last one is case study and it's this beautiful beautiful brown color like so freaking gorgeous and that's on my pinky it's so pretty if you guys don't like this color that's cool but honestly I just like went on a limb and bought it and I'm so glad I did I'm, that's the color I'm gonna be wearing all week long Alright, so that's it for my swatches from Marshalls. And the last thing I got from Marshalls is this cute little bell, or bell, this cute little cow timer that kind of like rings like a bell. Um, and oh my gosh, it's so adorable. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm obsessed with cows, and I think you can see like, do, 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 right there. That's a cow calendar, um, like with the little blocks that you can use all the time. Got it when I was little, like four. And then down there, I don't even know how to point that out. Down there is a cow blanket. I know I get really, I get really snazzy with my cows. My boyfriend bought me the blanket, but <laughs> anyways. So, yeah, so that's my cow timer, and I'm in love with it, and I'm going to, like, do, like, when I am taking a break from cleaning or what have you, homework, whatever, I'm going to set my little cow timer, and it's going to go, and I'm going to be like, whoa, it's probably going to scare me, but, oh, so cute. Everybody needs one of these, I think. <laughs> and, by the way, everything at Marshall's was $3.99. So I spent like $23 total there. And at Target, I spent like $27 total. One thing I forgot to mention about Target is, um, I guess the, what the lady at Target said, the leading, I don't know if it's drugstore brand or brand in general in the UK, <laughs> is Boot, this company called Boots, and they're now in Target's in the USA. So uh, if you want to like check out some Boots products, you can, or at Target, um, for like, I already had my mindset on what I was getting, so I didn't get anything from Boots, but I kind of wish I did. 
But I still have $7 left on my gift card, so maybe I'll get something and try it out. Let you guys know what I think. So, that's kind of just like a little announcement. Boots is now at Target. So, if you guys want to go get some Boots products, then go get some Boots products. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then I would look up Boots makeup products on YouTube and someone will be talking about it. I actually hear about it a lot. So, um, yeah, if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check it out. Alright, then last but not least, we have Sephora, and I had some awesome, awesome deals at Sephora, which, you know, there's always awesome deals at Sephora. Um, let me start with the cheapest item I got, which I only got two items. Well, and a free item, so I guess technically the free item would be cheap, but I'll do that. Or it's Rare Blend Oil. Total Hair Therapy, and it's from Orjon. It's supposed to make your hair shiny with one drop, so I don't know how you're going to get one drop from this sample, but honestly, if it's one drop and it'll make my whole hair shiny, then this sample should last me a while. So, um, I'll let you guys know what I think about that. Alright, and then next is the Hello Kitty palette. It's this, uh, on my receipt it says Summer Palette. Packaging looks like this, and the back looks like this, and and then the inside is polka dots. Super cute. Alright, so here's the typical little Hello Kitty head. Um, I'll probably put this in my purse because it's perfect size. It has two layers. So, this is the bottom layer. And on the bottom layer, we have a, sorry, I'm trying to hold this more properly. Okay, on the bottom layer, in the top um, left, we have a very gorgeous purple. And it has blue sparkles. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has blue star sparkles. And then right next to that, we have this beautiful gray color, which has some sparkle to it. And then we have a very white color, which has sparkle to it. And we have a very pale pink color. And then on the top, we have a very pretty blue, light blue color, and then a peachy pink color. So we have a dark, dark brown color, and then a beautiful cream color. So let me go ahead and show these to you to the best of my ability. This is what they look like on the finger, and I did have to rub a little bit. These don't have super awesome pigmentation, but come on, guys. It's Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty's adorable. I've never really been into Hello Kitty, yet, to be quite honest. But All right, so starting uh, from the left to the right, we have the pretty blue color, then the peachy color, and the dark, dark brown color, and then that cream satin kind of color. Super pretty. Um, <clears throat> this has pretty good pigmentation, but if you rub it out, not so good anymore. So, kind of like what you guys think. And that's with no primer, so probably with primer it would be better. But this thing costs $11. It was on clearance, I think. So, not so bad for the price. Alrighty. Next group. Alright, so we got the pretty purple color, the gray color, the super white color, and the pink color. Um, um, I don't know if you guys can, nah. sorry guys, so lame at swatching. Alright, so... We have the purple color, the gray color, super white color, and then the pink color. Alright, and it's on my hand right there. Starting from the left, we have white color, which you can't even see, it's just sparkle. Or, sorry, pink color, <laughs> and then white color, which is beautiful, and then gray color. And purple color. I wish the purple color was a little more pigmented, but I love the blue sparkles in it. Like, I just freaking love that. I'm probably going to use it a lot. And I'll definitely use the white and the gray a lot. These other sheer kind of colors, I'm not just, I'm not sure about them. Like, I'll, I mean, I'll try to use them and 
such, but overall, I think this is great for traveling. I mean, I'll definitely use it for traveling. I'll put it in, like, my school bag or something, just if I want to, like, freshen up my makeup a little bit. I do want to start, like, doing touch-ups throughout the day. I don't do makeup touch-ups throughout the day, which is probably why I can see such big, dark circles under my eyes, but yeah. Anyways, <laughs> next is, like, one of the things I haven't been seeing a lot about. Like, I think I've only seen one person talk about this, but Tarina Tarantino, um, Emerald Pretty Palette. This is what the box looks like. And then this is what the palette looks like. And I love this. I love how this looks because it looks like it's popping out. Like, it's like a jewel and it's popping out, but really totally flat and then a very decent mirror super you know pretty good size um and then the colors and this this palette is what I'm wearing on my eyes I don't know if you can let me just go ahead and show you guys these have like incredible oh I'm gonna use my other hand actually these have incredible pigmentation I don't think you could get any better than this. So, here's the, um, oh, I'll go through the colors first. Here's Galinda's Kiss. And then we have Silver Shoes. And then Dandelion. And then Sawdust Heart, Ozma, and Very Wicked. Whoopsie. I'm getting this thing all dirty. I just bought it. Okay. So, first one is Galinda's Kiss, which is this white one. And then we have this silver one, which is silver shoes. It kind of has a hint of purple in it. And then we have Dandelion, which, um, and I didn't actually think, but it's like, it's like an interesting color. It's like a gold, green, um, bronzy kind of tone. But on the eye, like, it looks more gray when you put it on the eyelid, but it's very pretty. Or no, sorry, not the dandelion. You know what? Just this is what they look like. <clears throat> Swatched. So awesome pigmentation. There is, I mean, I know you can like you think you can see skin through there, but honestly, in real life, you can't. It's just my pores are horrible. They're like really deep. So, anyways, and then the next row is Sawdust Heart, Ozma, and Very Wicked. And I just swatched those with the wrong hand, but so we have Sawdust Heart, Ozma, and Very Wicked. And Very Wicked is like different than I thought it was. It's like a teal gray kind of color. Let me just go ahead and swatch them over here. So there we go. So Very Wicked kind of like has a green kind of teal silver. It's a very unique color. And then Ozma, which awesome gorgeous color I love that color and then sawdust heart so awesome pigmentation with these you guys pick it up like I really recommend you guys buy this palette it's $22 it's on my eyes right now so anyways I had a 25 gift card to Sephora and I spent 33 so overall throughout the whole day I only spent seven dollars more than what I had on my gift card so that's awesome I only spent seven dollars today like cool because I had gift cards for my birthday so anyways that's my haul guys and if you want any reviews I will definitely do that for you I'll probably do them anyway but if you have any special requests I'll do those first so just leave your comments add me on Facebook subscribe you know all that awesome jazz you can email me too um I will respond. I always respond. And I'm super nice. I'm not going to be mean to you. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So, you guys, I thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry if this video is super long for you guys. And that's my phone, and I'm sorry it's so loud. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.